So, anime is a thing, a seasonal thing, so I'm going to talk about some of the series I started watching this season, since we're a few weeks into the season. I won't be talking about Digimon Ghost Game, since I already have some videos about it on the channel. I also won't be talking about Cardfight Vanguard Overdress Season 2, or Build Divide Code Black in this video, for reasons. I am watching them though, so maybe another day. With that out of the way, let's talk about other series I'm watching. So, Sunrise Beyond is finally making an original anime, instead of just making Gundam build spin-offs. Though saying that, Kyokai Senki feels like a more modern alternate universe Gundam series, but with V-Pets, which is an interesting decision. I like the idea, but I also think the designs of the V-Pets kind of clash with the rest of the art design for the series. That being said, I've enjoyed the first couple episodes. I was surprised to see Nobuyoshi Habata as the director. You might know him for being the main director for the Breakblade and Farfner franchises. Though, his work also stretches as far back as the 80s with series like Dan Cougar. I'm not too familiar with the head writer for the series, Noboru Kimura, as the only series he has written that I've seen is Gundam Build Divers, which was an alright series, but nothing too amazing. I'll try to actually finish the series, as despite being a mecha fan, I normally don't finish modern series. Also, the main character's hair is stupid. Shikiza Kura is a series I probably wouldn't have even touched if I wasn't a big fan of the hero genre. It's a very typical boy gets the ability to transform and does the hero thing. It doesn't do anything wrong, and I had fun watching the first two episodes. Really, my only problem I have is the CG animation. The power suits look fine, and probably the main reason the show is in CG, but the human models can feel pretty jank at times, both when standing still and in motion which you definitely don't want. This feels like a series where I just cut my losses and read the manga. Only problem is that the manga isn't available where I live, so I guess it's the anime or bust for me. This series is so lucky, I love the hero genre as much as I do, that and I haven't been enjoying the current Kamen Rider series, so I need my weekly hero fix from somewhere. The series is animated by Studio Sublimation, which doesn't have very many credits to their name, and directed by Go Kurosaki. From what I understand, this is his first time directing a series, as he mainly is credited for being a CG director or CG animator on most of his previous projects. Look, I don't know what to say about Mute King the Dancing Hero. You don't need to hear a plot summary to know if the series is for you or not. You'll need to look at these visuals, and you'll probably come to an educated conclusion if the series is for you. Now, I do want to mention that this is a co-production between Tatsunoko and Tezuka Productions, and the executive director for the series is Hiroshi Sasagawa. If you don't know who Sasagawa is, just know that he's been a director for series like Mock Go Go Go, Time Boken, and Yatterman. He probably isn't too creatively involved in this project, but it's neat to see him in the staff list. The director for this series is Yuzo Sato, who seems to be most known for being a CG director for various series, but has never been the main director, so this is his first time. Again, I don't really know what to say about this series, so if these visuals pique your interest, then maybe give the show a shot. I've had my eye on Osama Ranking since the teaser trailer. Honestly, when I first saw this series, I thought it was a movie. The animation and design work was just that stunning to me. The series is about a deaf prince that is just trying his best, and I'm cheering him on every step of the way. It was just a really cute first episode, and I can't recommend it enough. The series is animated by Studio Wit and directed by Yusuke Hata, who was the unit director for the 2018 film Doraemon Nobita's Treasure Island which was probably my favorite film from that year. Head writer Taku Kishimoto seems to mostly work on adaptations, most of which I haven't seen, so I don't have much to say about him. I do want to talk about the animation producer Maiko Okada, as they serve the same role for projects like Cabinary of the Iron Fortress, After the Rain, and was the production manager for Pokemon, Everyone's Story. I'm sure their connections uh, brought quite a few skilled staff members to this project. The art direction was what initially caught my eye with this project, so I wanted to mention the art director, Yuji Kaneko. He's worked on many projects, bringing a diverse range of designs that just shows how skilled the man is. This is definitely my favorite thing airing right now, and I really can't recommend it enough, so please give it a try. Anyway, that's it for the video, so hopefully I'll see you around.